One of the common problems on these Honda VTEC motors is that this gasket leaks. The VTEC actuator is actually located at the back of the engine down here. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold it in. You can actually see how much oil is leaking off the subframe here at the bottom. And the oil pan is wet. The CV shaft is wet. And you can see the wetness continues all the way up to the top. This here is a breakdown of the cylinder head. The VTEC solenoid is not to be confused with the VTC solenoid, which is on the side of the engine here. The gasket we're replacing is this one here, number five. There's also this little O-ring here that goes to the oil pressure sensor. So here we are underneath the car. This here is your oil filter, and that's the VTEC solenoid. The gasket is behind there with these three 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna remove this oil filter to get it out of the way. Just be prepared for any spills from the oil filter with the pan underneath. And there's the oil filter, it's off. Whoa, that's a lot of oil. To give you some more room to work with the wires back there, I'm going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt that holds the power steering line to the valve cover. And then now we can move the line out of the way to give you some more clearance back there. So this here is the top of the VTEC solenoid gasket. We've got one electrical connector here, another one back here, and then there's this one electrical clip here that you pull out to free the wires from the VTEC solenoid. Alright, so with the filter moved out of the way, you can clearly see the three 10 millimeter bolts there, there, and there that need to be removed to get the VTEC actuator off of the engine. Ouch. I'm gonna unscrew the 10 millimeter bolts. This is the first one. Go on to the second one here. And the last bolt up here. Be prepared for some oil to drip out as you take these bolts out. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the screws. That's one of them. There's the second screw. And over here is the final screw. And now that the VTEC solenoid is pretty loose, you'll see that a lot of oil is going to start dripping out here, so make sure you've got a catch can underneath. And I'm going to go remove it from the top. Alright, so with all the bolts removed, I'm just going to reach in and remove the VTEC solenoid from the engine block and take it off the car. Alright, so this here is where the VTEC solenoid sits in the gasket. We're going to clean that area nice and well with a rag, clean rag. Use some brake cleaner and clean this entire area from oil. So that way when you replace the gasket, you'll know if it's leaking or not. There's a closer look at the mating surfaces. There's no studs to hold it on, so you're just going to have to catch your bolts. Make sure you clean the surface thoroughly. Now this here is your VTEC solenoid. It's responsible for activating the VTEC on your car to make it go much faster. Now if you're getting an engine code for this, you might as well replace the whole unit. One of the common problems is this filter gets clogged and this gasket starts leaking on these 2.4 liter Honda engines. So I'm going to replace this gasket and strainer. That's the part number for the new gasket and strainer from Honda. There's also an O-ring under the oil pressure sensor that leaks sometimes. There's a 22 millimeter socket you got to use to remove it. In my case, it's not leaking. And this is what that O-ring looks like. And this is the part number here. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of brake cleaner to clean up this solenoid. And use a rag and wipe away all of the oil residue. I'm just going to use a little screwdriver here. Pry up on the gasket. And this gasket is all brittle. That's the old gasket right there. Now I'm going to take my brake cleaner and clean the mating surfaces with a clean rag. Make sure it's nice and clean. You don't want any contaminants on the gasket surface. So now that the mating surface is nice and dry, I'm just going to replace the gasket on there and make sure it fits nice and snug. So now with the new gasket, I'm going to replace the VTEC solenoid onto the engine block. Just put it into place there. Now once the VTEC solenoid is in place, I can go ahead and catch the three 10 millimeter bolts. And then using a torque wrench, we're going to torque it down to 104 inch pounds. Now don't forget to replace your oil filter. Too bad it's not time for an oil change yet. And then back over here at the top, we're going to plug in your electrical connector. One over here on this side for the oil pressure switch. And one over here for the actual solenoid. And then secure the connection over here. And as you can see, I've lost a little bit of oil in the process. So I'm just going to add a little bit of engine oil to top it off. Next, we're going to start the car and let it run. And then we're going to check underneath the engine near the VTEC solenoid for any leaks. Finally, after test driving the vehicle, we're going to double check the oil level and underneath the car for leaks. Why does it always have to rain when you're working on your car? 